Good afternoon all. And today we are going to learn about that coordination compounds. The rules of coordination compound. That is today our learning objective is to learn about the nomenclature of coordination compound. Nomenclature of coordination compound. Okay. Anyhow, we have I think that the four four or five rules in our coordination compound. If you are learning the five rules, you can easily write the name for the coordination complex. Then you have the basic here. Basically, we are learning about the four important points. One is about the cations. Second one, we are going to learn about the ligand. The third one, we are going to learn about the central metal ion. Next, we are going to learn about the ion of the complex, charge of the complex. If you are knowing the four points, first one is a, a simple cation, simple cation. Which one is the simple cation? And about the ligand, ligand. I previously I told you that ligand is attached to the central metal ion. Next about we are giving the name, focusing the name about the central metal ion. Next one is about the charge of the ion. If you, if you are knowing, know the four points, we can be easily say the name of the complex. So please all of you watch carefully today video. Uh, please write the, which are the rules for having the coordination complex. All of you take your note and listen carefully. The first one rule. What is about the first one rule? If you are naming the complex, first you should be start with cation, cation, simple cation. Clear? For example, K4. F E C N six. This is one of a complex. Here, previously I told you about that the potassium K is a counter ion. Am I right? Okay. First we start with here. This is the cation. This is the simple cation. This is the complex anion. Am I right? That means this, this equation gives simple cation. That is four four K plus. F E C N six four minus. Uh, please I told you about that. How will how will you get this plus and how will you get this minus four minus? Okay, four plus four plus. Now you can write. Okay, no problem. Potassium plus. This is one of the coordination unit. Coordination unit. Okay. First, we start with potassium. Potassium. Okay. That is. This is what simple cation. Simple cation. Why the simple cation? Why the simple cation? Can you say why is it simple cation? Because the potassium is occupied as simple. It is a complex anion. Complex anion. Complex anion. Okay, so this is one of the complex. Here you should be name the cation first. Okay, the cation is named first, followed by the anion. Okay, first you what? First you name the cation first, followed by the anion complex. Okay, this is the first rule. What is about the first rule? The cation, the cation is named named first, followed by the anion. Whether the ion is simple or complex. For example, what is the example? K four Fe Cl six. Here you start with simple. This is a simple cation. So the name is first goes to potassium. I will tell how you can we say this name. Okay, first start with here. Simple cation. Next goes to this coordination entity. Coordination entity. Next start with ligand. This is the ligand. Ligand is attached to the central metal ion. This is the central metal ion. Am I right? F is the central metal. Central metal. The C N is the ligand. This is the simple cation. Okay, so start with first one for this complex because we have two metal. Am I right? 
potassium is also one of the metal and iron is also one of the metal am i right so outside the outside the cation that is called the simple cation first start with the name is start with simple cation next followed by the covalent entity second goes to ligon and third goes to the sodium metal ion then simply i am saying the name of the complex how can you say the name and name of the complex is potassium cn means ligon ligon cn is the ligon so ligon here means cn how much cn, CN is there 6cn so we have one means mono two means di three means tri four means tetra five means penta and six means hexa hexa sino hexa sino okay hexa sino here this is an this this is the this is the charge of this potassium cyclone here this is a plus charge and uh, this covalent entity is the minus charge so minus charge gets with the eight okay so fe means ion am i right ferrous or ferric we are saying so potassium hexa sino ferrate ferrate this oxidation state is true previous video i told you about that how to write, how to find out the oxidation state also so ferrate two that is the name i will again i will tell you so anyhow this is one of the complex first we we use to start with the cation is named first followed by the coordination entity okay followed by the coordination that is the entity the symbol ion may be complex okay that is the first one first one the second one example this is for a cf or a fcl the second one example is what is about the second one example for the other one complex that is co nh36 co nh3 6 another one complex cl3 okay here this can be written as first one is the complex cation co c co nh3 six times three plus plus three cl minus this is the complex cation this is the simple anion can you understand the previous one k4 fe cn6 k4 fe cn6 here i told you 4k plus plus fe cn6 4 minus here this is what simple cation complex anion can you differentiate the both two equation first one is we are speaking here this is a coordination compound counter ion only leaving out am i right first one is a simple cation complex anion okay complex anion second one complex cation simple anion can you differentiate this is the first equation that is a potassium hexa sino ferrate i will explain how can we say first time seeing the rules first time seeing the rules the first one is simple cation complex anion here divide here okay simple cation that is a simple cation plus complex anion this is the first one so we are starting with potassium the first name goes to first name priority goes to potassium in second case this is the complex cation complex cation next one simple anion here you should be name the here first there is a coordination entity first this is the second here this is the first coordination entity the second okay here first one potassium is first next the coordination entity is the second in this equation this is first and this is the second okay 
And here we have start with the ligand first. Next cyclic metal ion. Next go to chloride ions. Okay. The third one, third category, complex cation and the complex anion. Okay. The complex cation and the complex anion. You can be right on the exam. P T N H three four times. This is one of the complex. Again, P T C L four. This is another one. Okay. This is also two plus. This is also two minus. This is the third one here. P T N H N H three four times. This don't write here. Okay. This is because the complex. Don't write the charge here. Here write two plus. And next one. P T C L four two minus. This is the complex cation. This is the complex anion. Okay, let me count. Can you differentiate the two? First one point. I told you that. What is the first point is? The cation is named first, followed by the followed by the uh, coordination unit entity. Coordination entity. Okay. First, you should be named the cation. That is the first rule. For about the first equation, which one is the cation? The second equation, which one is the cation? The third equation, which one is the cation? That's the question. The first one is this is a simple cation, simple cation. The second one is what? The second one is a simple anion. Okay. The third one is there's a equally shared, equal. There is a complex cation, complex anion. So first of all, you should learn the rule first. Here we have the first one. We should be give the priority to simple cation. Next for next for complex anion. The second category, you give the priority to complex cation, and next go to simple anion. The third one, first goes to the priority complex cation, complex cation. Next go to complex anion. This is the condition. Clear? Clear? Can you understand? What is about the first rule? Here we have. You should be give the name to first one cation, 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 okay, cation. For the first equation, the second equation symbol complex cation, the third equation complex cation. Next, the second rule. What is about the second rule? We can do the second rule. The symbol ions. We have the some simple ions, maybe sodium, potassium, like that. We have a simple ion, chloride, nitrate, sulfate. They have simple ions. Okay, the simple ions are named as in other ionic compound. Simple ions are named as what's the second rule? The simple ions are named as in other ionic compound. The simple ions are named as in other ionic compound. How can you give the simple ions? Maybe it's a sodium. Sodium. What is the symbol of sodium? We can be write the name. Okay, sodium. Can you see sodium symbol N E? Sodium ions. That means symbol N E plus. These are what symbol cation. Symbol cation. We can take the potassium. Potassium. How do you write potassium ion? K plus. Plus means scattered. Copper. Cu two plus. Na one plus. One Na plus. Now Na one plus. Potassium K plus. Now K one plus. Copper Cu two plus. These are all what? Simple cation. Simple cation. Can you say about the simple anion? Simple anion. What is about the simple anion? We can be like chloride. 
right cl minus symbol anion nitrate no3 minus nitrate you should write the name nitrate nitrate NO3 minus nitrate sulfate SO4 2 minus sulfate okay anyhow these are all what it's a sodium Na plus K plus Cu2 plus these are all plus plus means simple cation we are saying plus charge we are saying simple cation the simple anion means Cl minus NO3 minus SO4 2 minus these are all what Simple anion. Okay, anyhow, uh, about the second hole is over. What is about the second hole? The symbol and symbol ions, the symbol ions are named as in the other ionic compound. Clear? What is about the second hole? The symbol ions are named as in other ionic compound. The symbol ions are named as in other ionic compound. Okay, these are the examples. Next of all, the third rule, how can you say about the third rule? The third rule means to name the complex ion. Whenever you need to say the name for the complex ion, first you should be say the ligand name first. Next one you goes to where? Central metal ion. Clear? What's the third rule? It's very important. Third rule, you Say the name first the complex ion. Complex ion. Then the ligand name. Next only the third one is the central metal ion. Okay. Suppose when we are saying the ligand, sometimes the ligand may be two or three, more than one. More than one ligand can have a means. You should be give the priority to the alphabetical order. Okay, let us, we can be wait. Okay, what I am going to say. First, I am starting, when I am giving the two examples, I am giving the two examples. That is, K4, Fe, Cn6. This is one of the complex. I told you that here, the first priority goes to where the symbol cation. Okay. The second priority, who for the second priority, Fe, Cn, 6, 4 minus. This is one of the coordination entity. Here, you should be say the first one, the ligand, ligand, ligand name. Okay, ligand name. This is about the sign of, sign of. Nowadays, it is changed as a sign of, sign of, C Y A N. D O sine rho. That's we are saying C N C N minus. Okay. Here we are also using kappa. Okay, kappa means K. K we are using K kappa. Okay. For this is the for kappa. We are using a capital K like that. Kappa. Okay. Here you should be say the name. Here how much sine is there? Six. So six six means we are using hexa hexa sine rho. Hexacyno. Next one goes to where? The Fe ion. Okay. Fe metal. First one goes to the ligand. How much ligand is there? Six ligand. Okay. Six ligand is there. Am I right? Six ligand. After the uh, ligand over, next goes to where? Central metal ion. First priority goes to ligand. Second to about the central metal ion. Third, you go to the charge. Third, you go to the charge. Hexacyno ferrate because we have a negative charge. Negative charge ends with 8. Negative charge ends with 8. 8. Negative charge ends with 8. Okay? Next, you go to write this ion. 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 Ferret, two ion. Okay, like that, right? Normal letter. Use the normal letter also. Okay. Hexacyno, ferret, two ion. What's the name of this complex? Hexacyno, ferret, 
this is oxidation state also should be mentioned that is ferric two ions hexa cyano ferric two ion how can you count the name first you say the ligand name how much ligand is there here also here are some more having that i told you that start with the cation potassium okay potassium potassium you write that's the first priority first one potassium next goes to ligand ligand hexa cyano next goes to central metal ion okay that is what fe that is ion ferre why the eight come eight you will say this come because it has the negative charge negative charge okay negative charge so a the oxidation state for fe is 2 so you mention you know two as a roman letter having one ions so you are having ions hexa cyano ferre like two like that okay that's the name next up another one more example i am giving how can you say the name another one more example we can use ng3 okay this is a neutral ligand co ng3 six times three plus okay this is another one complex ammonia is a neutral compound so it is it can be used as amide ammonia ng3 can be written as amide a m m i n e amide How much ammonia is there here? Can you say how much ammonia is there? Six ammonia, right? How much ammonia is there? Six ammonia. So one means monamine, two means diamine, diamine, three means triamine, four means tetramine, five means pentamine, six means hexamine. Okay. So the name is hexa, hexamine. Cobalt, cobalt oxidation state is plus three. Okay, oxidation is one letter three. Cobalt, cobalt three ion. The previous example I told you that hexa cyano ferrate AT, am I right? Because that complex having the negative charge, the negative charge ends with ATE. Here having the positive charge, so don't write here AT cobalt eight. No, it's a wrong answer. Write cobalt because the charge is plus. Cobalt three oxidation state. I have previous video I told you about that to to how to find out the oxidation state also. Those who are watching the video, please can be write the oxidation state. Okay, here we have cobalt three ion. Here. I told you that suppose the ligand more than one. Ligand is more than one. How can you say the ligand is more than one? For example, Cr. Cr. We are saying I am taking the chromium metal. The chromium metal. We are using some very fine chromium metal. Chromium. Ammonia. Ammonia. I am taking three. And about the water molecules. I show. Water molecules are also taking three. This is one of the complex. Okay, one of the complex. How can I say this name? Okay, the central metal. Okay, not down there. Central metal. Okay, one of the complex. Here, this is also ligand. This is also ligand. I told you that more than one ligand, more than one ligand, which gives the priority, whether it's amine or this water molecules. Water molecules are the neutral. Water you should be say as aqua. What is it? Aqua. A Q U A. Water can be written as aqua. Ammonia. Ammonia can be written as amine. As per the alpha particle order, alpha particle order, which one is the which one is the first one? Alpha particle order, A A A D. Okay, first one, both are equal. Okay, because 
this also angle also start with a aqua also start with this water also start with a aqua the second goes to here m here q so the first priority goes to amine the second priority goes to water aqua so how much amine is there three amine am i right so one means bono two means di three means tri four means tetra five means penta okay so three means tri how much ammonia is there three ammonia tri amine tri amine clear what's the name of this compound tri amine tri amine how much water molecule is there three so tri aqua ये क्यों ये अक्वा? ओके। नेक्स्ट वो इस तरह सेंटर में पड़ा है। क्रोमियम, क्रोमियम। डाउटेड सेट फॉर क्रोमियम स्ट्री, क्रोमियम थ्री। बेस्ट नेम ऑफ़ द कंपनीज। कैन यू सेंड अनी? ट्राई अमीन। व्हाई वी आर गिविंग द फर्स्ट टू प्रयास टू गोस टू अमीन? एस पर द आल्सो मेडिकल आर्डर यार। ट्राई � Tri aqua, chromium three. The oxidation state for chromium is three. Okay, chromium three. Okay, that is about the uh, third point. And also, I am explaining how can you naming the ligand. That is also very important. Okay, naming the ligand also very very important. That means anionic ligand, cationic ligand, and also have a neutral ligand. Anionic ligand. Okay. Second one, cationic. Third one is neutral ligand. Okay, anionic ligand. Which are the anionic ligand? Anionic ligand means having negative charge. Am I right? Having negative charge. Having negative charge. What is about the cationic ligand? Maybe positive charge. What is about the neutral ligand? No charge. We cannot be any charge. No charge. Okay, here anionic ligand, cationic ligand, and neutral ligand. This is the uh, point about the third point. Third point. Okay, you should be learn the third point. Now, here anionic ligand. Anionic ligand means we can be give the name Br, Br minus, Br, Cl minus, S minus. OH minus, this is our word, this is our example, our anionic ligand. BR minus, we should be say the name, bromido, bromido. What is BR minus ion? Bromido. Bromido, bromido, here. Yeah. What is about the CL minus ion? Chlorido. Chlorido. What about the F minus ion? Fluorido. Here, work is minus M. Hydroxido. These are all what? Anionic ligand having the negative charge. What is about the anionic ligand? The ligand which has negative charge. Can you say? The ligand which has the negative charge. Here, what is the speciality about this negative ligand means? This ligand ends with the letter O. Okay, then the ends, ends with the letter, letter O. What is about the anionic ligand? These are the ligand, ends with the letter 
लास्ट लास्ट लेटर ओ कैन से एग्जाम्पल ब्रोमिन आयन वी आर गिविंग ब्रोमिडो ब्रोमिडो क्लोरिन आयन वी आर गिविंग क्लोरिडो फ्लूरिडो हाइड्रोक्सिडो लाइक दैट हेल्प्स विद ओ दिस आर कॉल्ड व्हाट एनायोनिक लिगॉन व्हाट कैन यू से अबाउट द कैटायोनिक लिगॉन कैटायोनिक लिगॉन कैन यू से अबाउट द कैटायोनिक लिगॉन n h 4 plus we can give you one of the cationic n o plus next n o 2 plus this are the example okay this are the example uh, n h 4 ammonium ammonium what's the name of this complex ammonium ammonium hydrosonium nitrosonium nitrosonium nitronium can you understand what is the meaning here the letter ends with i u m i u m i u m clear clear what do you understand about that the ligand ends with i u m the ligand ends with i Ligon, ligon, ends with I U M. First one is ammonium, ammonium having the plus charge. So we are giving the name is cationic ligon, cationic ligon ends with I U M, ammonium. Then no plus nitrosonium. Okay, I U M ends with I U M, nitronium. This is the cationic ligon, cationic ligon. Okay. Have you doubt about the uh, about the anionic ligand and cationic ligand? Next about some of the neutral ligands. Some few neutral ligands have. I told you about previous. I told you that about the NH3. What is about the NH3? Anybody remember NH3? Next one, amine. That is amine. E M O. Ah, amine. Here, aqua. Water get rid of us. Aqua. CO, carbon ion. Nitrosilate, NO. This is some example. Some of the example I only get. Very hardy. A few. Then get rid of us. Amine. H2O can be say about that aqua, 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 CO, carbon ion, nitrosyl. Okay, these are the about the naming of ligand. Next about this is about the first three point. We are learning about the two more point means this is very easy for you. Two more point. Okay. Next of all, we are using a term K. K means kappa. Okay. K means kappa. Okay. We are writing the term, the capital I think, the capital L. Okay. A K term. We are using a K term. We are using here. This K term, where we are using means we are using ambidentate ligand, ambidentate. What is the word ambidentate ligand? What is the function here means the ambidentate ligand in which more than one coordination move is possible, more than one coordination is possible. Okay. But first of all, we should be learn about the ambidentate ligand. Okay. What is about the ambidentate ligand means? Some ligand have two or more donor atom. Okay. Let me write the definition. Have two or more donor atom. Okay. Some ligand having. Two or more ligand atom 
but only one can donate electron by a but only one can donate electron pair this is the definition for ambient and daily gone pair at a time that is also used at a time okay okay what's the definition for ambient and daily gone please note that one ambient and daily gone some ligand have two or more donor atom donor atom but only one can donate the electron pair at a time that we are saying what ambidextrous ligand what is the example here we can use the example what is the example means the ligand of thiocyanate the ligand of thiocyanate what is about the thiocyanate thiocyanate with scn scn this is the thiocyanate Here, the ligand thiocyanate can bind the central metal atom or ion through either by sulfur or either by nitrogen. Can you understand? Here, this is one of the ambidextrous ligand. This ligand sulfur may be attached to the central metal ion. For example, this is the central metal ion. Example. M M plus is the central metal ion. M here sulfur may be attached or nitrogen may be attached to the central metal. That is the meaning. Can you understand? Here thiocyanate can bind the central metal ion through either by sulfur. Sulfur sulfur can be attached or may be nitrogen may be attached. Anyhow. In, in a certain condition, if the ligand, if sulfur forms the coordination bond with the metal, then the name is name we can give, give thiocyanate KS. So sulfur binding means we are giving what's name? What's the name we are giving? Thiocyanate KS. Thio. Thiocyanate KS. Okay. Sometimes don't use the dot here. Thiocyanate KS. Okay. Thiocyanate KS. Sometimes nitrogen may be bond means we are giving thiocyanate KN. Okay. For nitrogen we we are giving. K N. That means sulfur attached remains. We are giving what's the name? Thiocyanate K S. K means kappa. Sometimes nitrogen attached remains. Thiocyanate K N. Okay, K N. This is the next rule. I will give the explain. And also, in my textbook having some. Uh, I think that the page number one thirty seven. Page one thirty seven. Uh, having uh, some some examples about the cationic and anionic ligands and everything having as per the uh, monod and bale ligand having bromido, chlorido, fluorido. For example, bromide, bromide. What is the ions about the bromide? Br minus. We are giving the name bromido. Chlorine. That is Cl minus. Chlorido. Fluoride. We are giving F minus. This is fluorido. Okay. And I got the sign Cl minus. Cl minus is also having the part. Ambient and ligand. Am I right? Ambient and ligand. This also giving cyanido. Sometimes maybe we are giving OH minus hydroxido. Okay. Next I got the uh, carbonate also having CO three two minus. We are giving carbonate. Here. This are the. Have you heard about the carbonate and about the uh, CN minus? We are giving that is ambient and ligand. And about the carbonate is also ambient and ligand. This is the example. And also NO2 minus we are giving the ambient and ligand. Okay, this is what we are the ambient and ligand. Some of the have you heard? And next one. Next thing about the one more point. What is about that point means? The previous, I told you that 
Sometimes the coordination the entity having more than ligon, more than more than one ligon, more than one ligon, uh, ligon at a, a particular time. The multiple of ligon, multiple of ligon means two comma three comma four etc. Can be can be used is indicated by adding appropriate Greek prefix. That means what are the Greek prefix? Di uh, two for di, three for tri. 4 per tetra, 5 per penta, and 6 per hexa, like that we are using. The name of the ligon. Okay. That means, if the name of the ligon itself contains a great prefix for ethylene diamine, ethylene diamine, this is the point. Ethylene diamine means simply we are using like the EN. What is EN refers? Ethylene diamine. Okay. What is, the, what is about the formula? N guys 2, C guys 2, C guys 2, N guys 2. This is what? Ethylene diamine. As per the IUPAC name, we are using ethane 1,2 ethane 1,2 diamine. This is the IUPAC name, okay? Okay, I will tell you later, okay? Anyhow, ethylene diamine. Here, is an alternate prefix, another one prefix, alternate prefix means dis, tris, tetrax, etc. We are using to specify the multiple of such ligon. Okay, we can be learn something about that and about name of the central metal ion. That is a very important. How can you give the name of the central metal? First, I tell you about that. How can you say the name of the ions? Next, I give that. How can you tell them about that ligon? Ligon. Ligon name. Next, the third one is name to the central metal ion. In this code, I told you that first one is a for ion. Am I right? First one ion. Second one ligon. The third one. The third one is for name of central metal. Central metal. Here, in cationic or neutral complex, the element name is used such for naming the central metal ion or ion, atom or ion. And whereas, the suffix 8, suffix 8 is used along with the element of name anionic complex. Simple concept. That means, cationic and neutral complex the element name is used. Okay. The symbol one number that is cationic. Cationic and about the neutral. This is one. Third. Second. Okay. Second one. That is anion. This is the one. Cationic complex or maybe the neutral complex, the element name is used. The element name is used. For the anionic complex, we are using eight. We can be discussed one more time, please. We can use that one. That means, example, CO. Type to O six times Cl2. Can you say which complex? Which complex? Can you say this is the cationic complex? This is the symbol anion. Am I right? Cationic complex. Cationic complex. Okay. Next, I am writing another one. Co N H three three. Cl3. Can you see which complex? This complex can be any charge? No charge. But this complex can be charge. We are simply separating. That means CO H2O 6 times plus
here this is the word complex complex cation complex cation plus charge we are giving the plus charge we are giving the plus charge minus charge so complex cation symbol anion am i right here this is a neutral so we cannot be speak the complex here it's a neutral here first you should be say i told you about that first to what first condition cation or the neutral you say the name is first start with the ligand second to metal third with this ion you are saying the number like that first to goes to ligand because outside having no ions so first to prior to goes to that is a ligand first one is ammonium sorry water water is be say as aqua how much water is there six water molecules so hexa aqua hexa aqua cobalt cobalt oxide state is 3 cobalt cobalt 3 chloride okay hexa aqua cobalt 3 chloride that is chloride okay we say like that no problem hexa aqua cobalt 3 chloride like that here first priority goes to here second third triamine trichloro cobalt 3 okay can you see the name can you see the name hexa aqua hexa aqua cobalt Three chloride. Here, triamine, trichloro, cobalt three, cobalt three. Can you understand? That means I told you that the cationic complex, the neutral. The element name is use the element cobalt 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 we are using we should not write any eight but the anionic complex we are using eight okay for example K four F E C N six can you say which complex four K plus plus F E C N six four minus am I right? Here, how can you say the name? First, potassium. Potassium. Start number one, two, three. Hexa cyano or cyano? Hexa cyano. We can discuss no problem. Or the other is hexa cyano. Ferrite. Ferrite. Two. Clear? So. That means the anionic complex. You should be write the eight, eight. Okay, this is anionic complex. You are writing the eight. But the cationic complex or the neutral complex, you should be write the element. Okay, you should be write the element. Okay, I think that the time, the time is over. So anyhow, again we can discuss tomorrow. Those who are interested, you can derive the at least any two, any two points, any two points about the IUPAC nomenclature. Okay, IU IUPAC nomenclature. Any two points, those who are interested, you can derive. Okay, thank you all for your time. Have a nice day.